In this movie, we're going to get into the select expert a little more. Now when we filter, we don't always have to do it when we're creating the report. We can come in and filter later. Case in point is this here, the select expert icon, which is the hand choosing the marbles. Go ahead and click on that. This brings up this window here. Notice how it brought up the sum of revenue transaction amount because it was highlighted down below here. This is part of the flexibility of Crystal. For example, if you wanted to filter by any summary field, you could. For now, let's go ahead and click the delete button. That leaves us with office division. Let's go ahead and click new. And let's go ahead and choose revenue date. Now, revenue date is, becomes another filter that we can choose and we have all the options available to us. Some of these options works better with certain types of field. For example, is between works great with revenue date and numbers in general. So let's go ahead and choose 2008 as our limiter. What this is telling us now, let's go ahead and click on show formula, is that my division must be in east or west and must be between the date ranges of 1-1-2008 and 12-31-2008. Also it has a time component because it's a date time, so it's 12 a.m. This is a little trick warning I want to get into. When dealing with date fields, you have to be very careful. At 12 a.m., you're essentially skipping the entire day of the 31st. However, if you choose 11, 59 p.m. you get the entire day. Keep that in mind when you have a date time you also have to make sure you input the correct time otherwise it tends to fall back on the default which for some reason is 12 a.m. so your date misses everything. The start date is okay because it's starting at the very beginning of that day on the first and continues along to the 31st. Go ahead and press OK and go ahead and hit preview. In this case, since we're reducing the size of our data space, we can use the saved data simply because we pulled everything before. Now when I have east and west, the only option I have are 2008 and then all the offices with revenue in 2008. The select filter again allows us to zoom in on a specific piece of data or set of data that we're looking for. You have to be careful, especially if you're using date ranges or date time ranges. The point is you can filter it down to pretty much anything you see fit. Notice we have revenue date, office division, and sum of revenue transaction amount. Simply because we left that field highlighted, when we choose the select expert, it pulls it up. So let's say we just wanted to see the offices with values greater than or equal to 10,000 and press OK. It will ask again. In this case, we'll use the saved data. Now we've gotten rid of those offices with less than $10,000. A word of caution, there are two types of fields to filter on in the select experts. The fields that come straight from the database like our division and our revenue date or fields that you've created on the report such as the summaries that we've inserted. Depending on the size of your data and the time range you're choosing this could delay your report as in take longer to run because first it has to pull all the data back regardless then make a calculation on the crystal side and then filter. The fastest filters of course are the ones that point straight at the database tables. In our case clicking on the select expert and scrolling over, the revenue transaction date and office division come straight from the database. So I would consider those fast filters, if you will. They help us reduce the amount of data we pull back and affect directly the speed of the report. But the sum of the revenue transaction, well, that has to happen after the fact. So even though I said, hey, just show me what's greater than $10,000 per office, it still has to pull every office back, calculate, and then apply the filter. Again, it's something to worry about with large database environments, but it can come in handy. Let's go ahead and remove our filter and press OK. Notice how everything swept back to normal because the data was already there from before. So keep in mind, you can filter on pretty much anything in Crystal, summary fields, user-created fields, database fields, but keep in mind the effect it has on your performance.